welcome back guys i hope all of you will be fine so from today we are starting chapter 5 which is related to some discrete probability distributions in which we will discuss some very important discrete random variables and discrete probability distributions which has significant role in your lives and all day-to-day -day activities okay uh, so let us first start question 5.1 this is the first question of the exercise so let us first see that what is the statement a random variable x that assumes the values x1 x2 up to xk is called a discrete uniform random variable if its probability mass function is fx is equal to 1 by k means the number of random variables are here has the same probability and that is 1 by k for all of x1 x2 up to xk and 0 otherwise find the mean and variance of x okay so let us first see the solution of it okay so in solving it what can we see if we have the random variables here this is what this is these are basically the random variables and these are the probabilities this has so each and every one of it will have similar probability okay we can see here that and these would be up to here x of k okay these are x naught x1 x2 up to x of k and each one ha here if these are basically k k number of variables so the probability here will be 1 by k okay one of its example is the a die in which all elements are basically what let me first draw it okay so here we have either we will have one two three four five and six okay so all of them will have same probability okay because these are equiprobable and this probability is what this is one by six because here you can see that this is x of k and here the sixth item is here the same probability as we have here and these are basically the uniform probability distributions okay so i hope you have got my point that what is mean by the uniform probability distribution so what do we have to do we have to find mean and variance of x of k and it is very clear here that in order to find the mean of it here what do i have to do so i have to add all these items together and what do i have to do i have to divide them over the total number of items so here we can do what it would be x1 plus x2 plus x3 plus x4 plus x5 plus x6 okay divided by the number of items which are six so this is what this can be the mean of it okay this will be the mean of it similarly for the generic terms here what we can do here is that here the mean of it will be x1 plus x2 plus x of 3 plus x4 up to and until x of k divided by the k okay sorry this is k uh, divided by k or we can also write it what we can also write it like from i equal to 1 up to k x of i divided by k or 1 by k is outside of it and then i have to add these items together from 1 to k so this is what this is basically the mean of the random variable which we have okay similarly if you want to find out the variance of it the similar equation which we have seen previously would be what that would be from it as well it will be 1 by k and from i equal to 1 up to k k i have to take each item and from it i have to subtract the mean and square it okay this is what this is basically the variance of the items which we have okay so this is what this is the solution of question 5.1 and this is basically the essence of the uniform random variable or uniform probability distribution which i have 
described in this question okay so that is basically the solution of question 5.1 let us proceed to question 5.3 because this is also relevant to the uniform random variable so let us go through it so question 5.3 an employee is selected from a staff of 10 to supervise a certain project by selecting a tag at random from a box containing 10 tags numbered 1 to 10 okay so a box we have in which we have some tags let me represent them with this similar tags which are numbered from 1 to 10 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 same size and same tags and on each of one we have numbers so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and here on it we have 10 okay uh, find the formula for the probability distribution of x representing the number on the tag that is drawn okay so these are placed inside this box and therefore each has a similar size similar probability so that's why this is what this basically represents the uniform probability distribution what is the probability that the number is drawn less than four okay so the probability here of drawing each item is k and this is what this is one by k the k here is 10 so therefore the probability here for this case is one by 10 so each item the probability of each item here is one by 10 similarly what is the probability that the number is drawn is less than and four so i have to find the probability that the number drawn is less than four so less than four means the probability that x equal to one or probability that x is equal to two or the probability that x is equal to three so one two three tags are selected so what is the probability that x is equal to one that is one by ten because all of them are equally probable and that is the uniform probability distribution similarly here what is the probability that x equal to two that is also one by ten and what is the probability that x is equal to three this is also ten so adding them all together what will we get this will be three by ten and that is is basically the solution of question 5.3 so you have seen that how to find out the probabilities in the uniform random variables and these two questions closely relevant with the uniform probability distributions okay so if you have any question you can ask me in the comment box that's it for today and i will see you with some more interesting stuff in our upcoming video see you soon